Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you, Cameron? I am fine, Mr. Rizwan. So, on which topic today you will give demonstration? Um, a very common topic from the daily life that is the pressure. Oh, yes. I came to know when I was a student that pressure plays a vital role in our daily life. Yes, you are really very right. There are so many examples related with the pressure in the daily life. So, can you tell what is meant by pressure? Pressure, it is a force acting by unit area. Normally, it's called as pressure. Pressure. Formula of pressure is what is the formula of pressure? P is equal to F over A. And P stands for pressure. F stands for force. A stands for area. So, this is the formula of pressure. P is equal to F over A. A. Okay. Now, can you please tell me that pressure depends on how many factors? Pressure depends on uh, two factors. Are you sure pressure depends on two factors? Yes, 100%. So, and number one. Force. And number two. Is area. So, it means pressure depends on two factors. That is force and area. So, what is the relation between force and pressure? Uh, I can show you by a demonstration that what is the effect of the increasing force on the pressure. Okay, so what is the relation between force and pressure? Uh, they are directly proportional with each other. Hmm? Yes, it means that when force increases, pressure also increases and when force decreases, pressure also decreases. Decrease. And what is the relation between pressure and area? Uh, they are inversely proportional to each other. What does inversely proportional mean? Uh, inversely proportional means that if we will increase one quantity, the other quantity will decrease with the same ratio. Okay, it means if area will be increased, then pressure will decrease. And if area will decrease, the pressure will increase. So it means pressure depends on two factors, force and area. What is the relation between force and pressure? They are directly proportional with each other. And what is the relation between force and uh, pressure and area? They are inversely proportional with each other. Okay, now move towards the first demonstration. That is the example of a pencil. Okay, what, what do you want to show? Okay, let's uh, see that this is the sharp tip side of the pencil. Okay. And this is the rubber side of the pencil. Now when I am going to... Let, let, let me do this. Ah. Uh, Ah, oof. And uh, now I have inverted this pencil and doing like this. Why you are not doing as you were doing the earlier? The reason is that when you were hitting the pencil with the tip, so its area was very smaller. So when area was smaller, pressure was larger. So definitely it will going to be penetrated in my hand and exert pressure due to which I was feeling pain. But when you have inverted the pencil, then its area has increased and the pressure has decreased. So now you can see that as compared to the tip side, I am not feeling too much pain as earlier it was. But now when it is like this, then it is too painful. Now, will you show me another activity okay. to demonstrate that? Sure, I will. What is this? Duster. Duster, so it has three dimensions. So now, uh, I want to ask something from you. If I will place duster like this on my hand, what do you think? The pressure which is exerting on my hand is less or more? Definitely, if I am going to mention the area, then it has lesser area on your hand and larger pressure on your hand. Okay, that is fine. And uh, what about this? Now the area in contact with the surface has increased. So definitely pressure is going to be decreased oh. because pressure and area were inversely proportional with each other. Each other. Okay. Now let's see another demonstration. Definitely. Sure. So can you hold on these books? Okay, I am holding these books. So, now you can place books one by one on my hand. So, it will show this relationship that force 
and pressure are directly proportional with now, each other. Now, are you feeling more pressure? No. Now? Now, definitely. Now? Now, certainly. Now the force increase, which has increased the pressure. So it means if I am going to add up the books, then definitely pressure increases. But here area and contact was constant. So keep this point in your mind that if area is kept constant, then force and pressure are directly proportional to each other. If I am going to pile up the books, pressure on camera and Zen is going to be increased. So I can't hold it now. What I have done? I have placed my another hand. Now I am feeling comfortable. What is the reason? I think pressure is going to be decreased because area has increased. And already we have studied that area and pressure are inversely proportional to each other. So when I have placed only my one hand under these books, the area in contact was less. Less and pressure was more felt on the hand. And now when I have increased the surface area by placing my another hand, then the pressure will decrease. decrease. Now another demonstration which will give you a really very fair idea related with the area and the pressure from the daily life. Now you can see that uh, some books are placed in this uh, shopping bag and now I want to hold this bag from this handle. So you can see that the surface area which is in contact is very less and I am feeling so much difficulty in order to move this bag in upper direction. So I want to reduce the pressure. So what I will do? I will increase the surface area of this handle by padding it with the handkerchief. So this is the handkerchief. I am wrapping this around this bag. And now the contact area of the shopping bag has increased from its handle. And now when I will place my hand, I can you can see that there is a lot of difference between the previous one and this one. So by increasing the area, the pressure will decrease by decreasing the area the pressure will increase so move towards the next activity okay now i will demonstrate another example from daily life in which we will see that what happens when area of the shoe increases or area of the shoe decreases this is the example of the heel usually used by the ladies now there are two parts this part is the flat part of the shoe and this part is the pointed part or heel part of the shoe so when some ladies use this part and when she moves over a carpet or over a surface or soft surface then what happens when this part touches the earth or the ground or the carpet then there will be less impression on the earth or on the carpet. But when this part touches with the earth or carpet, then definitely there will be more deep impression in the carpet. What is the reason? This part has larger area and obviously this part has smaller pressure and this part has lesser area and definitely it will impact it has a more impact on pressure so this part will produce less impression on carpets or on the soft ground as compared to this one so i hope so okay, from this demonstration now it will be very easy for you to understand the concepts of pressure in daily life thank you very much take care bye bye